Hello friends, this video on structure of Adam part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 34. Now we'll study the electronic configuration of atom. What is electronic configuration? The distribution of electrons in two orbitals of an atom is called electronic configuration where we will tell how the electron is distributed across various orbitals in an atom. Right? And the electronic configuration can be represented in two ways. One is SPDF notation where you say S subshell has this many uh, electrons, P subshell has this many, D subshell has this many electrons or you have, you can create the orbital diagram. You can say S subshells, P subshells with three orbitals, D subshells with five orbitals. Like that you can create the orbital diagram or you can use this notation. This is generally used because it is easy to create than to write so many boxes. So this is more in fashion, little easy, but we'll understand both these. Both are same actually, the in both represent same data. The only thing is the representation is different. But there's an advantage of second over the first because it represents all quantum number. So this guy will not represent the, uh, all the quantum number, but this will represent all the quantum number. Looking at this, you can tell the quantum number for all the electrons. We'll, we'll discuss more in detail for that. So we'll write some electronic configuration for hydrogen, let's suppose. So we'll write the first way. For hydrogen has how many uh, electrons? One. So, so if you see, let me write in that first box. So, so this is my s orbital which will have, which can have at the max two electrons. But there is only one electron here. It will occupy position like this. This is the orbital representation or I can write the same thing as this fashion also 1s1 because the first s will have one electron. Hope you understand. Let's take helium now. Helium has two electrons. Right? So if you write in this box, this is the first s subcell. This is the s subcell. Right? 1s subcell. So the first electron will come and the second electron will be paired. And this is my helium. Also, I can write helium as 1s2. Both are correct. Right? This is the orbital representation and this is my normal representation. Let's see for lithium. Lithium has three electrons. So let's write the orbital first. So orbital, I will have first 1s orbital. Then the next energy is 2s orbital. Correct. The first electron comes, it comes in this 1s orbital. The second comes, it pairs up. The third comes, it comes in this orbital. So this is my orbital representation for lithium. And the same thing I can write in the normal notation. 1s will have two electrons and 2s will have one electron. This is also one representation. Correct. Let's see for beryllium. So beryllium has four electrons. Right. So I have my 1s subcell. I have my 2s subcells. First electron comes here, it sits here, second will pair up, third will come here, fourth will pair up. So this is my orbital representation. If you want, I can write in this fashion also 1s2 because 1s has 1s subshell has two electron and 2s2 because 2s subshell has two electrons. Then the boron. Boron has how many electrons? Five electrons. Correct. So we have to accommodate in 1s, then I have 2s. 1s can take 2, 2s can take 2, but it will not be sufficient. So I have something called 2p also, right? And 2p will have 3 bonds because p subcells has 3 orbitals. So let's start with the electrons. First electron will come here, second will pair up, third will come 2s because the next energy level, fourth will come here, fifth electron will come in 2p orbital, right? Because it's the order, it is in the order of increasing energy level. This is the orbital representation. I can also write this guy in. 1s has how many electrons? 2 electrons. 2s has how many electrons? 2 electrons. 2p has how many? 1 electron. So this I can write in this fashion also. Let's say carbon. Carbon has 6 electrons. So same thing I can write. Let me write the first box form. So this is my box. This is my 1s orbital. Then I have 2s orbital. And then the next orbital is 2p1. I'm writing in the form of increasing order of energy. So this is my, this 2p1 will have three 
orbitals, right? These are one s subcells, two s subcells, two p two p subcells. So this two p subcells will have three orbitals. So I wrote three orbitals. Six electrons first will come to one s, the lowest energy. Second will pair in this. Sec third electron will come in the second uh, highest, second lowest energy uh, subshell. Fourth will obviously pair. Fifth will come here, and sixth electron. Sixth electron should come it. Should it come here or here? So according to Hume's rule of maximum multiplicity, this guy won't start pairing until all the orbitals are filled with one electron. So this guy will come here. I can also write this guy as one s has how many electrons? Two electrons. Two s has how many electrons? Two electrons and two p has how many electrons? Two electrons. So both are correct. But this gives a clear picture. This gives a actual place where the electrons are, right? Let's take for nitrogen. Nitrogen has seven electrons. So I know that one s, then I have two s, then I have two p. This is my uh, increasing order of energy for orbitals. This is I know, right? So I'll write one s box here, one s shell. These are all my subshell actually, subshells. One s subshells. Then I have two s subshell, and then I have two p subshell. 2p subshell will have three orbitals, so I'll, I drew three boxes inside this. Seven electrons, the first comes here, second comes here, third comes here, fourth comes here, this is I've seen. Fifth comes here, sixth again, it can come here or here, but according to Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity, it should come here. Seventh, where it should come? It can come here, here, but no, according to Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity, it should come here because the pairing should not start until all the orbitals has one electron. So this is my electronic configuration. I can also write this as 1s with two electrons, 2s subshell with two electron and 2p subshell with three electrons. Please note 1s, 2s, 2p are all subshells. They are all subshells. They are not orbitals. Now 2px, 2py, 2pz, these are all orbitals. Correct? So one sub this p subcell has three orbitals. S subcell has one orbital. Let's take for oxygen. Oxygen has eight electrons. Correct. So again, I have two s one s subcell lowest energy. Then I have two s subcell. Then I have two p subcells in the order of increasing order of energy. So let's write one s subcell. It will have two electrons. Two s subcells. Then I have 2p subcells, 2p subcell will have three orbitals, so I do three box. Eight electrons has to come. First will come here, second will come here, third will come here, fourth will come here, fifth will come here. According to Hund's law of maximum multiplicity, sixth will come here, seventh will come here. Now eighth will come here, eighth will come here. Why? Because each of these orbitals in P has got one electron, so the pairing will start now. So I can write this guy also as 1s2, 2s is how 2s. Subcell has how many electrons? Two. And two P subcell has how many electrons? Four. I can write in this fashion also. So both are correct. Let's take for fluorine. Fluorine has nine electrons. Correct. So again, my one S subcell, then I have two S subcell, then I have two sub two P subcells in the order of increasing order of energy. So I'll write here once again. I'm taking more examples that you can understand the concepts and uh, write electronic configuration easily. It comes out of an exam. So this I have one S subcell, then I have two S subcell, two P subcell will have three orbitals, P, X, P, Y, P, Z. Nine electrons, first will come here, second will come here, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Eight we saw it will come here, so ninth will come here. This is how it will be. So it will be 1s subcell has 2 electron, 2s subcell will have 2 electron and 2p subcell will have 5 electron. That is my fluorine. Let's take neon now. Neon has uh, 10 electrons. Correct? Atomic number is 10. So again I have 1s, 2s and 2p in the order of increasing order of subshells. So let's draw 1s, let's draw 2s subshell and let's draw 2p subshell. 2p subshell will have 3 orbitals, so I drew 3 orbitals. 
फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन कम्स हेयर सेकेंड कम्स हेयर थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवेंथ एट विल कम हेयर नाइन्थ विल कम हेयर एंड टेंथ विल कम हेयर सी वी सी ऑल द ऑर्बिटल्स आर फिल्ड इन दिस केस एंड दैट्स वाई नियन इज नोबल गैस इट इज वेरी वेरी स्टेप करेक्ट नाउ विल सी सम सिंप्लीफाइड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफिग्रेशन सी यू सी द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफिग्रेशन ऑफ सोडियम इफ यू डू दैट इफ यू ट्राई टू फाइंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सोडियम यू फाइंड इट कम्स आउट टू बी लाइक दिस वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस वन करेक्ट बिकॉज आफ्टर नियॉन वी हैव सोडियम ओनली कैन यू कैन डू दैट सो टू दिस इज नियॉन दैन वी हैव सोडियम एंड इफ यू सी आर्गन इट कम्स लाइक दिस वन एस टू टू पी टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू थ्री पी सिक्स सो इफ यू सी दिस पार्ट is common in both case right this part 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 please note this part is common to to any of the element from sodium to argon you just write the electronic configuration you will see that this part is common right they have exactly the same pattern the only difference is here First three s fill uh, get filled, and then here after three s three p gets filled, right? Because there are eight elements in that uh, series, so this is the pattern. So we can simplify this process. How? Instead of writing this big name, because this configuration corresponds to what neon, right? If you see ten ten electrons, so we can write neon instead of this big 1s2 2s2 2p6 see now it is not that big deal because here we have only 1 2 3 4 uh subcells here but if you write the electronic configuration of uh, higher atomic number elements the electronic configuration will be very big so in that case it helps they were there again shorten this thing with here in this case neon because each of these will Have this. For example, sodium I can write as neon three s one. That is nothing but one s two two s two two p six three s one. Argon I can write as neon three s two two p six. That is nothing but neon you can replace with one s two two s two two p six, and then you can write. It. So this makes the life simple for chemistry, right? Also, the electrons in the completely filled shells are called core electrons. They are called core electrons in the completely filled shells. and the electrons that are added to the electronic cell with the highest principal quantum number is called valence electron that means the 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 last orbit which you have the electrons in the outermost orbit is called valence electron and they are easily to pluck so if you give some ionization energy in that they are the one which who comes out first so the electrons in the outermost shell of the uh, atom is called valence electrons thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again